Welcome to Pi Excellence Tutorials. And uh, just a quick reminder, if you have not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, kindly subscribe for all physics content. Okay, and also uh, remember to click on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new content. You can also share with others. Yeah. So in this video, we are going to, to solve um, a third question of thermophysics. So you can check also other previous videos and also the ones that you will be coming okay, under thermophysics. The average coefficient of volume expansion for carbon tetrachloride is 5.81 by 10 to the power negative four per degree Celsius. If a 50 cubic centimeter steel container is filled completely with carbon tetrachloride when the temperature is 10 degrees Celsius, how much will spill over when the temperature rises to 30 degrees Celsius? Okay, so here we are talking about volume expansion. So the expansion there is linear this area and also volume so here in this case we are talking about volume so now we are looking at uh, how much of um, carbon tetrachloride is going to to spill over when the temperature rises okay so we have uh, we have a change in volume okay being equal to the coefficient of volume expansion, initial volume, and change in temperature. So it's quite uh, similar with uh, linear expansion for linear expansion. So now what do we expect, uh, what do we expect, what do we expect it to, to happen? So the volume, of spilled uh, carbon tetrachloride will be actually equal to uh, the volume of, uh, of uh, carbon tetrachloride, all the uh, tetrachloride, I uh, subtracting by that volume uh, of uh, the steel container. Okay, so we have volume of carbon tetrachloride minus the volume of the steel container. And that will give us the volume of the spilled carbon tetrachloride. So here what we have, we know that we can substitute this equation in this equation, of which is going to be that since we have, uh, these are different, uh, um, we have steel and we have also carbon tetrachloride. So this one will say this is for carbon tetrachloride. 80. But you should observe that all of them, they are subjected to the same temperature and the same initial volume. Okay, and then we have the coefficient of volume expansion for steel and also given by that. Now, when you look at steel, for steel, it's, it's, it's a material. It's not expanding in, 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 in terms of volume. Uh, like it, it, there's going to be linear expansion in this, uh, in this steel. So there's a relationship between um, uh, the coefficient of volume expansion and the coefficient of linear expansion. And that uh, relationship is given by, okay, three of that. Okay, so once we plug that, we are going to have, so this is steel, this is also steel. So we are going to have, uh, we are going just to factor out change in temperature and initial volume. And here we are going to have that minus three 
alpha is t. Okay, so we're going to have that after plugging in. So now we plug in the, the values. So the initial temperature is 10 and the final temperature is 30. So the change in temperature is 30 minus to, uh, 10, which gives you 10, uh, 20 degrees Celsius. So we have 20 degrees Celsius as our change in temperature. And the initial volume, we have 50 cubic centimeter. Okay, and then we have the uh, coefficient of uh, volume expansion for carbon tetrachloride, which is for 5.81 times 10 to the power negative four. Okay, minus three of the coefficient of linear expansion. So this one you get from the, the list. So this will give you 11 by, and then you have that. Okay, so you punch that one on the calculator. And you are going to have the volume of 0 0.548 cubic centimeter. So that will be the volume of uh, the carbon tetrachloride, which is going to be spilled over. Okay. So that is how we solve uh, that question. Okay, thank you for watching.